Hi, this is Andrew from Email Marketing NYC, and in this video, I'll show you how to create unsubscribe page and a, a slash preference page. So when the people receive email uh, from you from Clavio, when they scroll down, there's option either unsubscribe or update preference or both. So typically, almost everybody, all my clients that I have have typical standard unsubscribe page. So this is one from. For example, I'll show you, this is Azra's Firestone, a popular brand. If you click unsubscribe, even he doesn't have the, as you can see, update preference, he doesn't have this option. So, I mean, this is can be updated, but there's few steps which you need to do, and in this video, I'll show you how to do it. So first of all, <clears throat> you have to contact if you have paid account, it's not available for free accounts, but if you have paid account, contact Clavio support team and ask them to enable hosted pages on your account. So this is hosted pages and uh, you can create add new pages. When you click add new page, call it, click add page. And now you will have the standard unsubscribe page I, I i mean you can see it's empty but what you can do and I, under this video i'll post this link but or you can cl um, type in in google cloud uh, manage preference so this is the code they provide so just copy this code <clears throat> So you copy this code. By the way, name the page correctly first time because you will not be able to rename that. Okay, so click save. And this is the page we'll create. So now it's much better. So if person click unsubscribe before it's like last attempt to keep them in your system and engage. So there's options you can put there. Like if let's say if they're not interested in your weekly newsletter maybe they uh, will be interested about your latest blog blog posts uh, and i'll show you how to change those as well okay so let's do like i don't know google logo i mean we'll need logo so for example this is lo i mean you will have your logo so jpeg so you will add logo here, Google, open, upload. So I'll show you how to change this logo. So this, this is a link and in this code, by the way, I, I, I have limited knowledge of codes. I just know how to change stuff, but I don't know how to code at all. So basically, currently we have I forgot what's the image name. So it's 30 by 75 something. Okay, so it's right here. So it's line 102. So you just do, you open this image, right click and open in the tab and you copy this link. Uh, you go to pay, uh, line 102, is it 102? Yes, 102. And you just change this, click, paste, save, preview. Oh, yeah, but I mean, you have to make it smaller. I mean, it's just an example, but you just need to make this this size, what say 300 by 75. So you will have that. I'll come back because I don't want to have that. Okay. So let's say, I update my preference, email press saved. Okay, so what happened next? So if you create a uh, list segment, let's say create new segment and test for video, okay. And you do uh, condition properties about somebody and email you see, you have email frequency, email interest, and contains or equal. So it contains, let's do, do what options we had that, or it's right here. So we have blog, event, blah, blah, blah. So basically you click create the segment and the same thing you can do everybody, but exclude, let's say promo, 
promo campaign so nobody wants to see like promo and okay and how do you change that options uh, when you create that page so this is step one step two go to preference pages and you have manage preference uh, it always redirects here so click view all pages so instead of pre clicking preference pages you click use custom page and you select this and unsubscribe you select this okay and also you have to do it manually every time you create new list and also you have to go back and mm, go to lists and segments click to here on lists and under each list click on each list click subscribe pages and under each one same thing is redirects so click view all you do manage preference you do custom one this one and uh, unsubscribe you do the custom one this one that's it so now it it, it works so this is how you create a, a custom uh, email preference page and this is how you add them to your list to forms of one next time person click unsubscribe or update preference they will have that option and by the way you can change those <clears throat> okay let's preview so this is like a little bit advanced maybe i will record another video but you can create different segments like different interesting can be like i don't know like whatever you think about you can add here and you can change like uh, twice per month once a year or something like there, there's slim i mean there's limitless possibilities but this is about coding and i'm not the best per person to ask about codes so this is how you do it. This was Andrew from Email Marketing NYC. And please let me know if you have any additional questions. I would be glad to answer about Clavio topic. Thank you.